I am a Honda girly. Thought about the Porsche, which this was definitely the right choice for me. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite things help me become an even better driver. What's up? It's Himana. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am in my new Honda HRV 2024 and I am going to give you guys a tour of this car. I recently upgraded like probably two weeks ago from my Honda Civic 2018 and unfortunately they hit me twice in that car so I was able to get some money from the insurance of the people that hit me and I was able to upgrade to this car which is so crazy this is my second car but it is my very first brand new car so I am so excited I also have a video that's coming up on how I am like decorating and like the essentials I'm adding to this car I know a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel from my previous car tour slash car um, decor so I hope you guys enjoy this video I am a Honda girly. I loved my Honda Civic 2018 and I just had to go to Honda to upgrade when I knew I needed a new car. So I absolutely love it. I think the quality of the Hondas is amazing and also the value over time. I feel like they hold up really great value and you know it's a car that is not that expensive in terms of repairs. So this was definitely the right choice for me. So if you are thinking of getting this car this is not sponsored or anything i just truly love honda hope this video is somewhat helpful i am not a car vlogger car guru so i'm not going to give you like the specs of the horsepower and yada 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 no you can probably go and find another video of that here on youtube but i'm just sharing you know my girly point of view on this beautiful car so let's just go ahead and get right into it So here she is, my new Honda HRV. I did get her in the color white. I'm also very sorry if the audio kind of sucks for this video. I totally forgot my microphone at home, so we'll just have to do. Anyways, she looks so cute. I'm thinking of just naming all my cars that I will have in my lifetime Malibu because I just love Malibu. When I saw this car, I really thought about the Porsche which eventually in the future maybe I will get a Porsche but for now I think this is as close as we are going to get it has this like black trim all around the car which I think it's really nice because the last couple of times that they've hit me they've hit me like in these areas so it's just not been great it has this little like it almost looks like a wing I don't know how to describe it but I really really love it with this black trim here and then you have the little like shark fin up there. This is what it looks like from the back. Also with the trim at the bottom. You do get the little windshield wiper here. Which my Civic did not have. And then right here you actually do get like a little water um, cleaner splashy thingy majiggy. But I also love the trim of the lights right here. The brakes and also the reverse lights. I absolutely love it and here is the side she is just so beautiful look at that and then for wheels and rims I just got like the stock ones that the car came with I didn't get any special rims or anything like that and here she is from the front I love the way this looks I feel like I want to add like a custom like Honda little emblem I do not have a sunroof this time in my car, which I'm kind of sad about, but it's okay. Maybe the next car will have a sunroof. And then of course, we also have the black trim. And here we have the honeycomb. The honeycomb detail is very popular in this car, so I really love it. And also the white is kind of like a sparkly white. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love it. Let's go in to the car and give you guys the tour of the inside. Also, when you get in, I don't know if you guys saw, but the little Honda logo shows up. 
we are going to start with the front of the car and the dash and i'm going to show you guys my favorite things about the honda hrv 2024 just sold me on this car so this is the steering wheel which i really like uh, the material is very similar to my civic i know the sports and the ex version of this have like that faux leather material like super soft and i'm kind of bummed that this one didn't have it but you know for being the base model i still think it's really good quality also the wheel something different from my civic is that it's kind of like tilted or slanted up towards you which i think is 10 times more comfortable when you're driving the little horn and airbag um, compartment right here is also very different it's more like boxy kind of like a hexagon is i think is so nice the buttons are definitely different from my car and there is a lot going on at first i was kind of like whoa this is very like new but it's super simple so here you have your back and forward on the music here you also have your volume which you will just toggle like this which i think is really nice and then your source if you want to change what's playing this is your home which basically takes you to the menu of your digital um speedometer this wheel you can actually toggle your um your menu which is really nice and then here is your voice command or siri if you are plugging in apple carplay here these are your buttons for your cruise control you have to press this down to do the cruise control you can cancel right here and then with this you can control how fast you're going or how slow you're going on your cruise control and um, you do have to press both of these at the same time to activate it and then this will basically you choose how far or how close you want the car to stay from other cars here you do have the little like lane not watch but it's like lane um detection so if you get out of your lane it will help you sometimes even when this isn't turned on the car will actually detect you're not in your lane and will like swerve you back to your lane which i think is pretty cool so let me show you guys what the horn sounds like <laughs> So right here, of course, we have our windshield wipers controller. So obviously, if you just go up and down, you will activate the ones that the ones that are on the windshield right here. But if you actually toggle these right here, this little wheel, you will actually be moving the ones that are in the back of the car, which I. Okay, and then here, of course, we got our lane signals and then something cool is that the lights actually stay on so they stay on auto and they will turn on or off depending if it senses that it's too dark something that i think was very cool about this car that i actually didn't find out until i was driving it myself is that if you're in a very dark area and the car thinks it's like way too dark outside like not even your regular headlights are enough they will actually turn on your high beams which is crazy and i think it's doing that with the little camera sensor that it has like right here in this area which i think was really cool and very helpful but you can also turn them on on your own obviously if you like flash them like forward or back unfortunately for this car it does not have the lane assist or the little like a car um alert that you have a car next to you so pretty much when i drive it's like old school it's as if this car had like no technology whatsoever in terms of like checking for blind spots so i was really bummed about that at first but then chris said that it will actually help me become an even better driver so i guess that's like a plus with this car let me share with you guys a little more about the actual dash now so of course right here we have the speedometer you do have a manual one right here which does have lights so it turns on you do have an um like regular number electronic speedometer i don't know that's the best way i know how to describe it um lcd screen one and then uh, so you can either like read it here or here so you have those but i love using this one and then here it does give you the range of miles that you have left on the gas but you can obviously change that on your own if you don't want to see that then right here you have the average fuel and then it does give you the weather and a couple of other things like the modes of your car like what it's driving on right now and how full 
your tank is and obviously what gear you're on right now the dash right here is so nice it's kind of like that faux leather finish right here which i love and i really really wanted that to also be on the steering wheel but unfortunately it was not over here we do have the little honeycomb um, design which i really really love i think it makes the car look so so cute reminds me of a little bee here are your toggles for the um, ac if you want to point it up or down and then i don't know if you guys can see this but when you flip it this way they're actually all closed like that and then if you actually move it that way they will open and then here you do have the little hazard button which i think is so cute it reminds me of like a spaceship button like you press it and you're like blasting or something which is nice so here you have another aircon you have your um, ac buttons this is obviously auto if you push it you're recirculating air from the inside here your um front defoggers rear defoggers your ac like um, how high you want it or how low you can control the temperature with this one which is nice and then these are the modes whether you want it to point both at your feet or only at your um, the passengers or only at the feet or like the feet and the front defoggers you know so it's all really nice I really love these options you also have the AC option which i leave on here i have my infotainment i think that's how you pronounce it screen which i absolutely love so you do have to plug in your phone and it's not like the wireless apple carplay which kind of sucks in my opinion but the guy at honda said that those are actually a lot slower than when you plug it in so i guess a win is a win um i still haven't taken off the cover because it's still in really nice shape i don't plan on taking it off unless like it starts peeling off you have your little audio if you press it it will turn off or on the audio and then you can um, select your songs with this one you have access to the phone which if you are plugged into apple carplay you will see this you can do the radio you can do media which will basically tell you what is playing on your phone if you don't want to do the connect right now i have um, arab music playing which is amazing i love rahib alama he is so good if you press connect it will take you back to the apple section and of course these are all the apps i have but you can obviously customize yours press menu you will get the little honda menu which you can you can toggle with this um little button right here and then you can forward or back the songs but you can also do that with this one so it's really cool i love that there's different buttons that do the same things um which is amazing so you or your passenger could have access to to that so here you do connect your usb to your phone and i'm surprised it's not usb c because it does have other usb c connections in the car right here you can just put your phone honestly if you want to i usually put my phone there i think the ex version has the wireless charging on it but this one unfortunately does not it's like the base model and then you do have your cup holders it does hold my stanley cup in here very comfortably which is great i do have some coasters which you guys can see in my car decor video but you have two and it's great right here i have the little prindle which I remember that from Sweet Like of Zack and Cody when London was learning how to drive. And then here you have your button which will toggle your driving mode. So you can just go up and down on it. On your dash, you'll actually be able to see it goes, you can do snow, you can do econ, or you can do normal. So I usually keep it on normal on the streets. And then when I hit the freeway, I will do econ. I haven't tested it in the snow because obviously it hasn't snowed yet. It's not winter. But you know maybe in the future here you do have this little incline button which will help you go slower apparently on like hills and here you do have your hand parking brake and then you do have a brake hold so that when you hit the brakes and you're at a stoplight like you don't have to keep pressing it and you can rest your foot here you have another area which you can rest your phone or just like whatever you want in there you do have a USB-C um, connection which you can use for your passengers if you want to and then you do have another one on this side which i have this cable plugged in 
and then right here you have the rest of your center console so you just press this button and i have a couple of things here already um it does have a pretty good amount of space i do have two like bags in there which you guys can see what they have in my car decor video but i do have some disinfecting wipes wet ones my air tag so I really love it and then here of course we have the glove box which has a pretty good amount of space i feel like it's smaller than my civic um but i just have my car registration here and i also like to put like my little baggie so this right here is the little speaker where you can speak to whenever you are on a call um this is where we'll pick up the or your voice from and then here you do have your lights so if you press these buttons right here you can turn them on and the cool thing i love about this is that they are leds so that is super super nice and they are white and they're not that like little nasty yellow orange light you can switch between door off and on i like to leave it on door right there you do have the little like camera detector here for your lane um watch and then i do have the mirror this is an extra mirror that's not the stock mirror so this is the stock mirror it comes with i feel like it's super tiny which i don't really like so i ended up putting the broadway mirror on it and i just think putting this one on it gives you a nicer view so here of course you have your visors and something that was a bummer is that this car does not come with any lights here which kind of sucks like not even for the driver um but i think it's because like the super base model of this car but at least we do have mirrors it's not like they didn't include any and then of course you can take it out and like extend it and then same thing for the passenger the passenger does not have a mirror as well i mean it does not have a light as well here you have your buttons honestly super simple the auto on the window is only on the drivers and then um on the passengers in the front you don't have that auto option which kind of sucks and then you do have the window lock right there the car lock and then your toggles for your side mirrors this is the little handle to get out of the car it is kind of tiny in my opinion you do have a speaker right there but other than that it's super simple super basic you have another honeycomb um air con filter here so it's off right now but i just opened it and they do have an all black like trim interior on the inside the car does have like this little detail here you have your seat belt and then the middle seat has the middle seat has a seat belt right here which you can pull up is this beige white with the little recess lighting which is really nice um i would have gotten the light one but i feel like it would have gotten e dirty a lot easier you don't have the cup holders here which kind of sucks but um you know you can just have your passengers use the one on the side here you also have the little holders for your passengers but you don't have them in any of the front ones which kind of sucks but you have one here too and then you have a coat hanger okay and then this is my gas um valve for the pump and it's just like an insert you don't have to screw anything which is nice and then you just close it like this okay let me show you guys the trunk so you do have to press the button here and you don't have like automatic lift you kind of have to let it rise you don't have any buttons here whatsoever so you do have to manually pull it to close but it's not that big of a deal this is the trunk it's pretty spacious you have lights on the side on both sides you can also put a cover here because it is like a hatchback sort of feel to it and then you do have a 12 volt um charger here or cigarette lighter whatever you guys want to call it you don't have any inside the car so the only one you have is in the trunk you do have compartments right in here and then if you actually lift this you will get access to the spare tire which you can't see right now but okay i am the passenger now that we are done with the video so i hope you guys enjoyed this car tour i know it wasn't like very much on specs and stuff like that but 
this is just like a girly version of a car tour i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye